Hey, it's Ronan Segal, your accordion teacher, and today we're tackling Stairway to Heaven. I originally learned Stairway to Heaven on the guitar, and I learned where to put my fingers. I learned that classic riff. But I, I, I don't play it well. But I don't know why I'm doing the movements that I'm doing. And what I hope to do today is to teach you the introduction and first verse to Stairway to Heaven. Um, the way that I like to teach, which is to understand the song. So you're not just learning where to put your fingers, but so that you're understanding how the song is composed, what's happening on accordion with a bass side and the melody side, so that you can make the song your own, so that you can improvise over it, so that you understand and remember it. So that three years from now, if someone says, hey, can you play Stairway? Or if someone starts to sing Stairway, you can automatically take your accordion and start playing along to it. Let's get started. I'll put the guitar down and pick up the much more familiar accordion. Good, so Stairway to Heaven. Beautiful, big song, defined, still defines uh, a generation. Let's learn how to play it. I'm thinking of the introduction and I'm thinking of the verse. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. Let's learn how to play it. Uh, I'm not providing the sheet music for the song. I want you to understand how it is. I'll provide some chords as I'm playing the song. Um, and again, there's power in understanding the chords. All songs are built on chords and how there's how they're connected. Let me show you the chords of Stairway. There's a beautiful semitone walk down. Semitone. Those are the semitones going down half notes. Um, those are actually the chords of the song. We do those with our left hand. I'll play and then I'll explain what's happening. So I want you to pay attention to the descending semitone bass line. Right? There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold and she's buying a stairway to heaven. Those are the chords. There's a beautiful descending bass line. A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F. Back up to A minor. That was G, A minor. Our right hand chords over those are A minor, E major over that G sharp. It's a slash chord. C major over a G. Nice. D major over F sharp. F with an F on the bass. G, A minor. So again, that beautiful chord progression with not the root notes, but that descending bass line really defines the song. We hear it on guitar and we can do it on accordion. So let me play you two versions of the song. One where I'm playing the root notes. So I'm just going to play A minor, E. Let, let me play it with the root notes and then I'll play it the way that it's written and you'll see that you'll hopefully hear the difference. So the way um, these are root notes, not the way that it's written, but an easier way to play. Um. Now let me play the way that it's written with a descending bass line. Right, there's a subtlety. And if you're playing, you could really emphasize that descending bass line. So that's beautiful. Our right hand does those chords, the A minor, E, C 
major, D, F, G, A, A. Now, A minor. Why is this important? It means that I'm not reliant on the sheet music. It means that I can improvise the rhythm and the melody. I understand what an A minor is. I could do this. I could break up my chords. If for whatever reason I could do a polka. I could accompany vocals with just my right hand because I know the chords, right? Or I could play parts of the bass really low. And the really cool part, it's a beautiful song, the really cool part is when we simplify it in that way or when we understand what makes the song it is, the rest of the song is the exact same way. We can learn the rest of Stairway the exact same way. Uh, the right the next part right So, practice those chords, practice those, practice the connections between those chords, practice your chord knowledge. So when I say E major, your hand jumps to the E major. So when I say D major, your hand jumps to the D major. And if I say another voicing of D major, because you've been practicing your triads and arpeggios, We realize the that the introduction to Stairway has really just broken arpeggios. I've played that before. That's my A minor. And then the next chord is E major. It's my E major. And then the next chord is C major. Right? I play that every day when I do my C major triad. So again, this all comes back to just the basics, the fundamentals. It's like in math, this comes back to addition and subtraction. Even though the song is beautiful and has a complexity to it, it still has the simplicity in chords, triads, and arpeggios and connecting chords beautifully. I'll cover part two and three of the song and four um, in later videos. But enjoy this. Let me know if you have any questions. Sign up for accordionlove.com where we discuss these kinds of techniques for every song that we do. Enjoy.